Legends of the Hidden Temple! With your guide, Black Rhino Ranger! And here he is now! Thank you! Thank you! Welcome to Black Rhino Ranger's reenactment of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Nice to see you all! Nice to see you, old mech! The rooms are filled with lost treasures that are protected by the mysterious Mayan Temple Guards. Only Olmec knows the treasures behind each of the legends of the temple. Which one are we going to hear about today? The legend of the Thumb Spike of the Iguanodon. Oh, the Thumb Spike of the Iguanodon. Well, one of these six teams will have a chance to retrieve the Thumb Spike and out of the temple. Will it be the, uh... Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, stop the music for a minute. Stop the music for a minute. Where are our teams? Seriously, what the heck? Where are our teams? I thought we I thought we were about to assemble a team. Now what do we do now? I mean, we got a chat wall waiting for something. Now what do we do? Wait a minute. I have an idea. Um, chat wall. Maybe you can help me assemble a team of um, of players of contestants. All you gotta do is request a character to play in the temple games and which members shall it be which character do you think is fit for the red jaguars the blue barracudas the green monkeys the orange iguanas the purple parrots or the silver snakes um uh, just a bit um now all you gotta do is request which character is for each team you can i'm allowing two teams two members for each team. And if you have nothing to request, just ask me any question. And if you like, you can send me a super chat and I will pause the game for your rule-free or theme-free request. So, so again, which member shall it be for, which character would you want for the Red Jaguars? Let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, sorry, I cannot do uh, uh, Pokemon trainers. I find them a bit too difficult to draw. Uh, the best I can do is just the Pokemon themselves because they're quite simple. Um, um, when it comes to uh, anime characters, I can, I can only do the simpler ones like the Pokemon because, uh, because of time constraints. Funny enough, I did I did uh, have Crash as a uh, Red Jaguar before. It was in a it was in a previous vi uh, picture, and uh, why am I, why did I uh, do the helmet thing? Now, unlike the um, unlike the uh, other chap. How do you make a casserole? Put it on a skateboard. <laughs> I thought you invite a cassowary for it. And now to slip in a little symbol for, um, just a minute, I just need to, uh, yep, sorry, something's, uh, oops. Hmm. 
Now, if you remember in the in the original Temple show, um, they they usually when it comes to getting players, they usually hire um, they usually hire um, um, one boy and one girl for each team, and that doesn't that rule doesn't have to be implemented. It can be both boys and girl. It can be both boys or both girls. Or, or it can be the mixture like like in the official show. Okay, we have... Um, now I must convert this into a symbol. Now that way it helps makes it easy for me to move the character so that way I don't end up breaking the character apart. So who else? Who else? Fun fact, I was born four days after the release of Crash Bandicoot. Oh, congratulations. Hmm. Unikitty. Um. Hmm. Why not? How many of us want to see Sonic and Crash Bandicoot cross over each other? I mean, um, well, um, well, of course, Crash was meant originally to, as a as a cash in for Mario and Sonic. I think I may have seen this before, but he ended up becoming super popular in his own right. Similar with um, similar with Godzilla. Uh, I, I mean, Gamera. Ga Gamera was originally made to cash in on Godzilla and King Kong, but he ended up becoming a popular character in his own right. So much so that people are demanding to see Gamera appear in... in are demanding to see Gamera appear in the MonsterVerse. Let's see if we can make a cartoon Legends of the Hidden Temple parody. I am um, I yeah, a little spoiler, fellas. Um, you know my Skylanders University, you know my Skylanders University animation. The reason why it took it's taking me so long to make a uh, a season to make the next parts is because um I'm tr I'm I'm writing as many ways for the Skylander Temple games. Uh, I actually planned the Skylanders University Temple games to be based on Legends of the Hidden Temple. And the legends I would be telling would be some of the uh, previous Skylanders. Or some of the Skylanders who, are, who uh, appeared in... Um, um, I don't know, sometimes I always keep... Um, they only paste like this. I, I don't know why. Oh wait. What's your favorite of the legends? Um, my uh, so um, there's each episode has a lot of different things I like. I mean, there's the stories I like of, of what Olmec tells me, like uh, the story of the forty-seven Ronin, uh, the story of Henry the Eighth's Great Seal, um, the story of Billy the Kid, 
Um, but I think my most favorite temple run is Billy the Kid because that was the first temple run I saw as a kid that actually ended with a win. And it was the only I think it was I think it was the only legend I fully paid attention because I tend to always skip the legend parts because I thought they were they were not my cup of tea. But as I got older, I kind of appreciated them a bit more. Okay, um, Sonic is ready. But if I had to pick my worst temple run, it's the Golden Cricket Cage of Khan. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh it, on, it only, the character, the, the contestants only entered four rooms, and it was so monotonous. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically enough, Rocco came out the same year as Legends, but lasted a year longer than Legends. Now, now, and another funny thing is that a lot of modern Nick shows, they seem to uh, have at least one episode that, that goes with their, that where they go to their favorite uh, uh, game show. I mean, there was an episode where, in of Sanjay and Craig, where they go with Double Dare, and and of course the Loud House he appears in Legends. Yeah, there was an episode based on Legends, and there's also an episode based on Double Dare. What's next? Figure it out. Yep, too late for the Red Jaguars. Me. Yes, it's a free request is by chance. A free request is by chance. If you're, you have to be super lucky to get your free request. Yes, and I can be very picky. Now, what, what am I doing? It's not supposed to have the patterns. It's supposed to be the uniforms of the. What what got you into Camp Laszlo? I I don't know. When I I'm not sure what got me into Camp Laszlo. Maybe it was the designs. Maybe it was the Joe Murray esque feel. Um, I mean, when I when I saw the commercials and when I saw that the one of the char I think because one of the characters was a rhinoceros clam, I decided I want to check it out. And I and it became my third favorite camp um, Cartoon Network show, alongside the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy and Ed, Ed and Eddie. I think I'm just gonna have to have him. Uh... Yeah, there are some color schemes I I often have trouble deciding because. Um... Now, if, if for girls who don't know, Rocco is not a kangaroo, he's a wallaby. And uh, there are some species of wallabies that are uh, blue, I, I mean gray, instead of brown or red, like a red kangaroo. Here we go, fellas. We have Rocco here yeah, as a member of the... Oops, uh, and I forgot to include uh, the recommended symbol.
go. We have cool. Oh, I forgot to re. Let's see here. Um, an orange knight and an orange princess says, uh, Somebody's a fan of the Gelong Gang. I heard they were kind of infamous. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll prefer. I think it's a bit too. Key. Let's see. Yeah, some of you might be wondering, how on earth does he fit that shirt in the shell? Well, I have heard that um, there are ways, <laughs> by cartoon logic, you can remove a turtle from the shell and uh, stick, in, um, stick in some clothing underneath. I mean, that's what Looney Tunes taught me. I mean, there was an episode where uh, Daffy and Porky are doing some infant baby service. And um, when it comes to changing the diaper, the robot um, has at first had no clue what to do, but then he opens the shell, wraps the turtle in the diaper, and closes the shell. And to show that Raku is fully colored, here's a little something. Uh oh, I uh, missed it. I. Uh, did a little boo boo. Okay, <laughs> now to give a squirt to um, um. Hmm. Oh well, back to the symbol again. Shrink. Shrink. And... And voila! Rocco and Squirtle are the blue barracudas, and I forgot to draw his uh, shoes. I forgot to draw his shoes. Oh, um, thank you. Uh, let me just uh, let me just uh, uh, finish the. Let me just give Squirtle some uh, shoes first, and then I'll come to yours in a moment.
Here we go, we have Rocco and Squirtle about to end up in... And somebody asks me to do the Silver Snakes. Um, let's see, uh, what was it again? Um, <laughs> I actually wondered whether or not, um, whether or not SpongeBob would actually do a a uh, an episode which parodies one of the Nickelodeon game shows, but then again, that, that would go against uh, Steven's wishes because for those who don't know, Steven Hillenburg, the guy who made SpongeBob, may he rest in peace. Um, he um he um never he never really liked the idea of crossovers. The only time he actually allowed crossovers was in either a video game or a patchy in Big Time Rush. Or if a show has a, has a, it was cameoed or referenced, like in uh, Duck Dodgers, there was, a, there was a cameo of a sponge waiter in an episode with the sharks and the dolphins. In the Loud House, there's, there were pictures of, there were pictures of, um, uh, what was it again? In the Loud House, there were pictures of a sponge, a, a crab, a, a squid, a, or an octopus, and a starfish in Lisa's kindergarten. And sometimes they were watching a starfish and a sponge on TV. And uh, even Carlo, even Carl Casagrande has a picture of a crab trying to get some money. Hmm. Well, since the character since the character does not have any upper extremities, um, actually, maybe it might have. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh. Actually, I think it might have. Uh, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm, I have no place to put to put the shoes. I guess uh, maybe because uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, now to add in the symbols.
keep in, um, also another thing you should keep in mind this might be a, a long live stream this might be a three hour one to get the team set up and ready to play the games oops uh, that that was not right Hmm, I think it requires a bit more. Okay, that's uh, that's I'm about done with the uh, that's about done with the uh, sir P the or and what was that other person I was supposed to do again? Um, of course. You know the La House did two Nickelodeon crossovers. Yes, I I am aware. Do you hate Crash the Titans and Mind of a Mutant? Not at all. I thought they were fine games. Maybe not so great as Crash Bandicoot games, but they were fine games by themselves. Yes. I'm actually surprised that uh, Crash on the Run and uh, and Mind o and uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Field did make a reference to um, to those games. I can't see SpongeBob. Uh, sorry, the camera's a bit. Sorry, the camera's a bit. Um, <laughs> that was my actual opinions. Maybe a team up between Perceptor. Is that isn't that the Transformer? Let me just uh, let me just um, draw him, and then I'll um, show you what he looks like. Yeah, this is how this is what he looks like. Have you seen the Galilean Gang? Um, no, I have heard it of its infamy though. Like it's a bit too cutesy and whimsical, and uh, trying to trying to um, um, trying to shoehorn in morals or something like that. Like uh, it was made because parents 
wouldn't feel guilty about not teaching any morals or lessons to kids. But, um, in fact, a lot of 80s shows or 70s shows had, uh, had, uh, bits where they tried to shoehorn in a moral. I mean, Spongebob did a parody of that in the Spongebob episode, uh, uh, The Bad Guy Club for Villains, where, um, where a sponge where they go this they had this tape SpongeBob had this tape he sees the young mermaid man and barnacle boy fighting the villains after they fought the villains hence they shoe in a moral at the end <laughs> have you heard of a hat in time i think i'm somebody may have requested me that but i never got the chance to watch or play it Now to give Spongebob uh, the snake. Oops, that wasn't it. You want to make sure it doesn't touch Spongebob's, uh... Yeah, I think that will do. Now to convert Spongebob to, uh... Okay, let's see what we got so far. We have, uh, Crash Bandicoot and Sonic as the Dread Jaguars. Raku and Squirtle as the Blue Barracudas, and uh, Sir, uh, Sir Perrier and Spongebob as the Silver Stakes. So who's the Green Monkey, the Orange Iguana, and the Purple, pa or the purple Parrot? Venom? Don't you mean Venom? This costume is cheap. This game is cheap. <laughs> but to be fair, um, some of the legends are actually cheap. Now, some of the legends that Omek tells are not really true in the slightest. I mean, uh, there's an episode called "The Snow Cone of Mount Kilimanjaro." That was when that was my first indication that okay, I can tell something ain't exactly. There are some bits that aren't exactly true with the legend. Um, another another one would be Mary Sh the mysterious manuscript of Mary Shelley. What I learned in school is that Mary Shelley um, had the idea of Frankenstein in a dream, and um, and on 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 the internet it says that Mary Shelley may have gotten this idea of uh, Frankenstein to um, to her visit to Frankenstein Castle in Germany. Hmm. Um, but in the story of uh, Mary Shelley, but in Legends of the Hidden Temple story, um, Mary Shelley went to a dark dark cabin, and moments later, a big giant figure in a cloak sent down next to her and said, "Beware! Here, yeah, there's a um, uh, where? Beware! There's there's a bee? Where? No, you do not understand." And, um, so there's a there's a monster here brought to him to life by uh by uh by uh, dr victor and um and as a result he gives him a, she gives 
Mary Shelley a manuscript and reveals himself to be uh, Frankenstein himself, and he moves uh, Frankenstein's monster. Uh, uh, it was at least a very hideously scarred face. He moved away, she read the manuscript, and she started writing the novel. It wasn't a true story, but it was still entertaining nevertheless. Um, oh, uh, uh, um, okay, okay, um, just, um, wait, there's an option to buy your own super chat. I never, I never, I, I didn't know that existed. It must be a new feature for the, uh, for the, um, I don't know what that, how to do that part yet. So, uh, what is it that person want me to do again? Ah, uh, yes, um. Okay, um... The orange iguanas, the purple parrots. I'm sorry, but she has to have a helmet on, on her. I mean, of course, the, the she we may not be able to recognize her without the hat, without without her hair doing her bows, but uh, the safety it's the safety of being in the temple games. And the other safety is to put on those, uh, to put on those, um, mouthpieces, but I think that one is a bit overkill. When I think of Coco, there are a lot of things in my head, like uh, Coco Bandicoot, or uh, the, kid, the, the Pixar movie Coco, or um, something tasty and drinkable. And uh, what was that person? Okay, uh...
Uh oh, something like Uh oh, something. Ah, that's more like it. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to include the symbol. I'll include that in just a moment. Okay, now to give the those two um, the purple parrots. Oops. Um. Just set in the purple parrot symbol in here. All right. Okay, that's the purple parrots, the silver stakes, the red jaguars, and the blue barracudas done. Just need one more green monkey and two orange iguanas. Oh, um, thank you. Um, thank, um, anything else? 
Let me uh, let me just check on. Um, Uh, is, there, is this for a request or something, or is it just uh, you just want support? That's it. Hmm. Hmm. Just scrapped. Okay. Hmm. We. Yeah, there was one thing in the um, in the IC in ICH four where Scrat uh, went to it to Scratlantis, and uh, there was it was where they we meet a colony of civilized saber tooth squirrels, including one played by Patrick Stewart, and um, he's like, and when he when he goes uh, when he sees um, so many nuts, he sees one big one in the middle. And before he's about to pull it, he's like, No, says the Patrick Stewart squirrel. Rise above this behavior. Be more than just a mere rodent. Unfortunately, Rat Clinix couldn't help himself and he unplugs the int. He lifts the nut, it turns out it was a plug, and thus the, the city of Scratlantis sink. Do you think the, do you think the, the natives of do you think the natives of uh, of Scratlantis failed to tell Scrat that 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 thing is supposed to keep us alive? If you pull it off, we'll all drown. I say they're not that I'm they're not bright as bright as Scrat. I I'd say they're not nearly as um, how do I say it? I mean, how can it be the most civilized people? Well, if they forget to to tell Scrat about, you know what? Yeah, nope, that ain't it. And I think I may have lost my symbol. I'm giving him different colored pants because uh, his t his fur is the same color as everybody else's pants. Okay, um... Now all that's left is the orange iguanas. Oh, uh, uh, let's see, um, thank you, uh, let's see, um, oh, my giddy heart. that's gonna be a, this is a big one.
I think I'm gonna have to chibify this character because it'd be because um it's hard it's Mm. I'll just say uh, I'll just do it like this. Now to color them in. Sorry if I uh, didn't include as much detail or made it as accurate, but um, I think it's a bit difficult for me to uh, try and make him accurate when during this particular live stream. If it was for another one, I would try and be as accurate as much as possible. Oh, but this is a Legends of the Hidden Temple themed live stream and I think I can only do chibified and less detailed characters so forgive me if I didn't do all of your if I didn't include any important markings
Okay, let's uh, let's convert him to let's convert him to Oh, and I forgot to include uh, the symbol. Uh oh. There. There. That should end one more. I'm actually not sure if this uh, creature has feet, so... I'm just going And that's it, fellas. We have we have our teams right here. Let's see. We have we have man. I matched huh, only the episode of school, but it was. Um, you should. Um, 
It's also, yes, it's also the anniversary of the Loud House episodes, too. Anyways, fellas, we got our teams. We can continue the game. For, on the Red Jaguars, it's Crash Bandicoot and Sonic. Yeah, on the Blue Barracudas, it's Rocco and Squirtle. On the Green Monkeys, it's Mr. Stubborn and Scrat. Um, on, the, uh, on the Orange Iguanas, it's uh, Zygarde or Zygarde. Or and uh, and uh, Diancy, is that is that how you pronounce it? Um, and on the purple parrots is Coco and uh, Coco in uh, what's it again? Um, Dotty Dog, Coco and Dotty Dog, and then the and in the silver snakes is uh, Superior and SpongeBob. We can now begin the games. Do you hate the Loud House episode No Laughing Matter? I thought it was I thought it was fine. I thought it was fine. Let's um let's let me just put them in position and uh and I'll tell you how the games go. Um Okay, let's put the red jaguars here, the blue barracudas here, um just put the uh, these are for later by the way blue barracudas there's the orange iguanas the purple parrots and the silver snakes um Okay, I'll hold it for a minute. I, I just got I'll be right back. I just need to do a quick check on something. Okay, I got the I got the things ready now. Uh, let's uh, let's go over let's go over the uh, let's go over what we got. Okay, now what was I? Oh yes, we got our teams are ready to play, and they have to go to some tough and physical challenges. And in the end, only one team has the right to enter Olmec's temple. But first, they have to cross the moat, and Olmec will tell us how they'll do it today. All the teams have to do is swim to the other side, run over, and hit the gong! But, be, but because we do not have enough time to animate the contestants, we have an easier solution. A user in the chat box must type in the name of their team. That gives their team a vote. If the team gets five votes, it means they've crossed the moat. The first four teams to cross the moat will move on to the next round. All right, are we ready, teams? Yay! Are you ready, chat box? Type in if you are ready. All right, are you ready, Omek? Let's rock. On your mark, get set. Go! Um, just a minute, uh, okay, go! Alright, fellas, just keep, just vote, just vote. Which one goes across? Who, who gets the first part? Let's see, okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got, okay, we got a vote for... Ooh, Barracudas, alright? Alright, this next one. Um, Red Jaguars, okay? Um, pur Purple Parrots, okay? Um, 
Now let's see, let's see. Uh, pa purple parrots again, alright? Um, green monkeys. Um, okay, let's see. Blue barracudas, alright? Green monkeys. Blue barracudas blue, and double blue barracudas. Okay, uh, let's see. Here we got uh, purple parrots. Let's see. Uh, okay, one more blue barracuda. Yes, that, that, the blue barracudas are across. Let's see. Let's let them swim across. Oops. Uh, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, all right. Um, they hit the they hit the gong. Let me just move that a bit. All right. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Um, which we need we need four teams. So three more teams. So red jaguars. Red jaguars. Okay, another vote for the Red Jaguars! Another vote for the Red Jaguars! Another vote for the Red Jaguars! And, uh, Crash and Sonic uh, go across. They hit the gong. Okay, we need two more teams. We need two more teams. Who's it gonna be? The Purple Parrots! The Purple Parrots! Okay, what else? Uh, another Purple Parrots! Looks like the blue teams are... The Purple Parrots are across. Dottie and... Dottie and Coco. And now for one more. Let's see, um... Let's see, uh, who's it, who's it gonna be, who's it gonna be? Uh, let's see, purple pears. Green monkeys, green monkeys, green monkeys! Alright, green monkeys! Um, orange iguanas, orange iguanas! Um, let's see, uh, orange iguanas again? Um, let's see, more orange iguanas? Um, let's see, let's see, um, let's see, uh, green monkeys, green monkeys! And these things are heating up, fellas! Okay, I just need, uh, um, alright! We got our we got our team across. All right, all right, all right. That's it. That's it, fellas. That's our team. Okay, fellas. We got we got the what? Well, who was across? It's the purple parrots, the green monkeys, the blue recruiters, and the red jaguars. The orange iguanas and the silver stakes. Ironically, they're the only teams in the Loud House crossover. You did a great job, but you're not going to go away empty-handed. We have a nice gift for you, and here's what it is. Uh, let me just uh, show the gift. Um, oops, um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, so, let me, sorry, let me just respond that. That was a, that was a mistake. Um, it's poop. Poop is, um... He's saying, boy does he stink. He's brand new huggable soft plush, but boy does he stink. He's enough to scare away parents, strangers, and feral animals. He'll be personal bodyguard. And, and please, please get a nose peg before making contact with it. Blitz poop. Get yours today. Hmm. Okay, and now let me just get the teams to the steps of knowledge, and then I'll explain what's going on. So, um... Okay, let me uh, shrink them a bit because um, all right we got okay let's um now let's continue um as the quest continues it is now time for Olmec to tell this legend about the thumb spike of the Iguanodon. But pay attention because your knowledge of the le legend will bring you one step closer to the temple. One of the earliest dinosaurs to ever be discovered by man was the Cretaceous herbivore, the Iguanodon. Named by Gideon Mantel in 1825, it was known for having peculiar sharp thumbs. Before, it was thought to be a horn on its nose, like a rhinoceros. Legend has it that when the fossil, when they, the first fossils were discovered, one of the diggers said to Gideon, Sir, we discovered some sort of reptilian skull. Do you, what do you think it is? Judging by those teeth, it must be a giant iguana, replied Red Gideon. That's it, iguana tooth. In Latin, we shall call it Iguanodon. Painter, stop picturing the monster. Several years later, more bones of the beast were discovered, and the digger went back to Gideon and said, Sir, I think there's a bit, the painting is inaccurate. Our man discovered more bones, and its legs are more straight. There's even a mysterious spike next to it. Well, I'll just have to make the painter make it look more like a rhinoceros, says Gideon. The spike must be its nose horn. 
Even more years later, the digger said, Turns out, the spike is actually its stone spike, it, and its front legs are a lot shorter. Paint her? shouted Gideon. Paint again, but make the iguanodon look like a kangaroo. And from that day forth, that's how most people see the iguanodon to this day. The thumb spike would later end up in the temple. Sorry, the, the thing's out of music, sorry. Your quest is to find the thumb spike of the iguanodon and bring it back here. Alright, thanks, Omek. So tell us, where is the thumb spike? The thumb spike can be found in the quicksand bog. Oh, the quicksand bog. Uh, teams, you're now standing on the steps of knowledge. In a minute, Olmec is going to ask you a question. And if, um, okay, chat box, in a, your, your characters are standing in the steps of knowledge. In a minute, Olmec will ask you a question. If you think you know the answer, type in your team color, a colon, and an answer. Uh, like, like, uh, like this. Um, blue answer. Like that. Uh, just uh, ignore the ignore the stroke. Ignore the stroke. Just blue. Just uh, the team color, the colon, and the answer. Now, if you're right, you move on to the next level. But if you're wrong, or if but if you're wrong, I'll give the other teams a chance to answer. Here. Yeah. So, Olmec, we're ready for your first question. Um. Which period did the Iguanodon live in? The Triassic, Jurassic, or the Cretaceous? That is incorrect. That is correct. All right, the reds, the reds are down. Next question, Olmec. Which continent did the Iguanodon live in? North America, Europe, or Australia? Cretaceous, that is correct. Alright, that's another point that the green monkeys are down. Next question. A more accurate iguanodon's body structure is like that of a kangaroo, rhinoceros, or lizard. Uh, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Um, let's go on to the next question. Um, blue, blue is correct. Blue is correct. All right. <laughs> Another European herbivore in the early Cretaceous is a Baryonyx, Polacanthus, or Triceratops. Uh, let me repeat that. Another European herbivore in the Cretaceous is a Baryonyx, Polacanthus, or Triceratops. Polacanthus. That is correct. <laughs> all right. Um. Next question, Olmec. What type of teeth does the Iguanodon have? Incisors, canines, or molars? Um, red molars? That is correct. Alright, um, okay, next question, Olmec. Um, what is the most believed cause of the dinosaur's extinction? The meteorite, volcanoes, or food shortage? Uh, let me repeat that. What's the most believed cause of the dinosaurs? The meteor. That is correct. All right. We got our first team going to the temple games. It's the blue barracudas. The others can catch up. What's next, Olmec? Um, what was the possible usage for the thumb spikes? Was it to give a thumbs up? Strip bark off trees or defend against predators. Alright, strip bark. Uh, that is incorrect. Um, let's see. Um, thumbs up. That is incorrect. Purple defense against predators. That is correct. Okay, uh, next question, Olmec. Which of these dinosaurs is another iguanodont? Parasaurolophus, Alranosaurus, or Hypsilophodon? I repeat, which of these dinosaurs is another Iguanodont? Parasaurolophus, Alranosaurus, or Hypsilophodon? That 
is incorrect. Random, our, our random surface. Um. Oh well, that is correct. We got our. Okay, fellas. Um. We got our first. We got our two teams getting to the temple. You know, it's the it's the orange it's the red jaguars and the blue barracudas, green monkeys and purple parrots. Yes, you're not going to go away empty-handed. You did a great job. We got a nice gift for you. Here's what it is. Um, juice leech. Steal your friend's juice. Quill the leech on the couple bottle, and it will magically extract juice, whether water or soda, from it. Then squeeze. Then squeeze the leech and juice. Then squeeze the leech, and the juice will fall into your mouth, in in your cup, in anywhere. Juice leech, suck it up. Warning: Do not let the mouth touch your body, or it will extract your juice. <laughs> Um, what was I again? Um, these two teams will be will be fighting for the right to enter Old Vex Temple, and they'll do it right after this. All right, just give me a bit of a moment to get the uh, contestants ready for the next Temple Games. In the meantime, just ask me any question. Um, no, that's not it. Okay, um... I think we're, have you seen Cruella yet? Not yet, but I do plan to do this. <laughs> sponsored by Raycon? No, I'm not doing any sponsors at all. <laughs> Are you using Windows or Mac? Um, Windows. I'm using Windows. Will you be interested in getting Mixels a try? I did see a couple of episodes, and I did like them fine. So yeah, I kind of like them already. So, what do you think about the upcoming Loud House live action special? Now, I have heard that the looks aren't as appealing, but if there's one thing I will compliment on, it's hiring the father to play as Lin, like he did in the cartoon. Just like uh, Dan Norris, where he played both the live action and the cartoon of Timmy's dad. <laughs> okay. Um, gee, I'm just trying, just, um... Welcome back to Legends. The glory goes to the fastest and the strongest. And here we have the we have the Red Jaguars, Crash Bandicoot and Sonic the Hedgehog. Crash, he likes to collect Wampa fruit and he likes to bounce on Creech and, and stop the evil Dr. Yo Cortex. And Sonic, he likes to collect rings, he's, he's a super fast runner, and he likes to try and stop the Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robotnik from trying to take in over the world, of course. Let's hear it for the Red Jaguars! And on the Blue Barracudas, we have Rocco. He's just trying to live his, trying to live his adult life. He's trying to live a modern life. He says that the 21st century is a dangerous place. And we have Squirtle. He's a turtle. He likes to shoot water. He's a water Pokemon. Let's hear it for the Blue Barracudas! Okay, why don't you guys get ready for the Temple Games, and I'll, show, and I'll tell you what's going to happen. Yeah, I'll just place him over, place some um, Crash over here, and Rocco over here, and I'll place Sonic over here. I'll explain to those in a minute. All right. Hmm. In the Temple Games, each contestant is trying to win Pendants of Life. They'll need those to protect themselves from the dreaded temple guards. There are three games in the temple, one of them is worth the half pendant. Olmec, tell us what's game number one. Like an elephant, dinosaurs can have pesky insects climbing on their bodies. Before you are, um, our dinos dinosaur hides. Oh. 
birds, and they are filled with deaf damselflies. The chat wall must shout their team's name. Doing so, a damselfly will fly off the dinosaur. The team with all the damselfly out of the dinosaur first, or the team with the most damselflies off in 60 seconds, wins! Well, I should have hired an exterminator or an anteater for this, but it'll have to do. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock, and by that I mean we'll stop when the music is over. Okay? So, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let, let's, let's get this, let's get this started. On your mark, get set, go! Now, which team? Alright, let's see, which one, which team, which team, which team? Blue Barracoon, that's alright, that's one dragonfly off. Okay, red team, that's another dragonfly off. Okay, that's um, another... Okay, that's two, okay. Um, let's see. Blue, blue, um, red, red, red. Alright, um, I sent another red. Uh, blue Barracudas. <laughs> um, red, red again. Okay, more red. Okay, that's it, that's it. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Crash Bandicoot has managed to get all the flies off of his. So, the red gets the half pendant of life. Eef. So, the first half pendant goes to the red. Let me just, uh, right. Don't worry, Blue Barracudas. You can catch up in the next one. It's also worth another half pendant. And, um... Okay, let's see, um, Olmec will explain to us what the next game is. Hmm. Iguanodon is often a very hungry dinosaur, eating leaves. Now, it's your turn to eat like an Iguanodon. Before you are cycads with leaves and empty stomachs. Um, the chat wall must shout the team's color, and a leaf will go into the stomach. The player with the most leaves in the stomach in 60 seconds, or the first to get all the leaves in the stomach, wins! Boy, am I hungry right now. Alright, let's uh, get them. Let's get the music ready, and uh, let's start the countdown. Are we ready, fellas? On your mark. Get set. Go! Um, now which one, which one? Okay, let's see, blue first. Okay. <laughs> Red. <laughs> okay, blue again. Okay, blue, blue, blue. <laughs> uh, let's see, red, 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 red. Um, blue again. Um, red. Uh, let's see, blue, 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 blue. Okay, I see another blue. That's it, that's it, fellas. Man, that was a quick match. The Blue Barracudas managed to score a half pendant of life, so it's all tied up at the moment. Mm. All right, um, let's um, now. Now we go to the f to the third and final of the Temple Games, and it's worth a full pendant. And Olmec will explain to us what is um, what is that game. Hmm. Um. When paleontologists find fossils, they require a strong team to assemble them for display in museums. Before you are columns and and bones, spine bones. Um, oh wait, 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 wait. Oops, um, oops. I, I forgot to include. I forgot to put the teams together. Um, let me just put the teams. Uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> oops, that uh, that was a mis. Steak. Um, okay, I got the. Sorry about that. Um, okay, um, all right, uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's try. Let's go through this again. Let's try this again. Um, Omek, 
Let me know what's the story about what's the next challenge. When paleontologists find fossils, they require a, a, a strong team to assemble them for display in museums. Before you are a column and spine bones. The chat wall must type in the team's color. One shout out and the bone is on the column. The first team to get all the bones on the column, or the most bones in 60 seconds, wins! Alright! Okay, Omek. Okay, let's go, fellas. Let's put the clock for 60 seconds or play the music. On your mark, get set, go! Alright, which one? Which one? Alright. Okay, blue for Spurs. Another one for blue. Okay, I see ya. Alright, don't. Come on, Reds! Don't let the blues beat ya! There's another red. I think I see. Oh, there's a triple red! <laughs> um, there's a more red, uh, there's a... Okay, let's see. Uh... Hmm, I see, I, okay, I see some blues, I see some blues. Um, red, 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 red. And that's about it, that's it, that's it, fellas. That's it. Well, that's about... Uh, uh, the red, the reds, they get, um... They get, um, looks like they get a half pen, they got one and a half pendants, which means, and the blues, they only scored half, so, the red jaguars are going to the temple! Alright! Sorry, Blue Bear, sorry, Blue Barracudas, um, yeah, sorry, Blue Barracudas, um, it's just not your day, but don't worry, we got a nice gift for you. Here's what it is, um, um, Ah, okay, um... The Invisibility Box! Put this on your head and the whole world is invisible around you and people won't even know who you are. The Invisibility Box, only 5 cents. Warning, may cause temporary blindness. Now, these... Let's see if, this, if the Red Jaguars will retrieve the Thumb Spike of the Growing Thumb out of Olmec's Temple. Right after this! Okay, now let me just uh, get the Red Jaguars and their hard-earned half pendant of life. And their pendants of life over. Okay, um... Ask me any question, ask me any question if you like. Hmm. True Tales did do an invisible box. Hmm, I did not notice that. Now, what happened to my... what happened to the half pendants? Oh, there they are. Uh, let me just uh, grow them a bit. Or wait, let me just... Um, yeah, I think that they can manage. Okay, um... And type in the chat box if you want to know who's going first. <laughs> Welcome back to Legends! Crash and Sonic have earned the right to enter Omek's temple, but before they got started, Omek is going to tell them some info to help them retrieve the thumb spike of the Iguanodon. You could start by running upstairs to the crypt, grab the book from the skeletons, and pass into the pit of the pendulum, knock over the column, and climb into the king's storeroom. 
smash the clay pot, which may lead you into the chamber of the sacred markers. Mash your symbols on the right with those on the left, and you could pass through to the room of the ancient warriors. Oops. Place yourself on the correct wall, <laughs> and open the door to the shrine of the silver monkey. Assemble the statue, and you may be headed towards the room of the secret password. Slide down the tunnel, and get the tablet, and shout the right description, and shout it out to open the door to the pharaoh's secret passage. Slide down the tunnel to the quicksand bar, we can smash through to the dark forest. But beware the temple guards, which may inhabit the trees. Find the key in the tree, and you may enter the jester's court. Place yourself on the correct wall painting to open the door to the tomb of the headless kings. Pull the vines to reach their bones, and attach its missing skulls to its proper king. Then, race to the pit, climb through the lessons, red south stairs and back to the temple gate. The choices are yours, and yours alone! You won one and a half pendants in the temple games. Who's going first? Okay, the temple music is gonna... So, um, let me just um, put this over here. Alright. Um, let's go. Crash! Very well, Crash! When, Kirk, when Black Rhino Ranger gives a signal, You'll race through the gates into the temple and make your way towards the thumb spike of the Iguanodon. Hidden inside the temple are temple guards across trying to get three assigned to protect three specific rooms. You can portray, you can trade in your pendant for an extra life and go on. But if you are caught without a pendant, you'll be taken out of the temple, and it will be Sonic's turn to enter and try his luck. Hidden inside the temple is the other half of your pendant. If you can find it while carrying the other half, you get an extra life. If you reach the thumb spike, all the doors in the temple will instantly unlock and the temple guards will vanish. Return to the gates. Oh, wait, 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 um. Return to the gates in with, the, with the thumb spike of the Iguanodon in three minutes and you will both be handsomely rewarded. And here's how. First you get a, a, an expandable mobile device. Hmm. One and one push of a button. It starts off as a small box, but one push of a button and it will expand into a phone. Press it again, it will expand into a tablet. Press it again, it becomes a TV. It's also very light, so you don't feel the light weight when it's in your pocket. From Appsum. Grab the grab the thumb. If you can get the thumb spike out of, if you just grab onto the thumb spike, you get yourself a magic com. Um, um uh, what was it again? A magic gaming carpet. Travel, travel anywhere with a floating platform, which which has a TV, your favorite game console, and your favorite game without the need for walking. Play it on the beach, mall, school, and garden while hovering. Warning: may cause wall bumping. And if you can bring bring the thumb spike out before three minutes is up, you'll get a a coupon for fast food forest. A wildlife themed fast food restaurant where we combine all your favorite foods into one big tasty treat. The taste is gonna get really wild. Oh, and I am certainly hungry for some action. Alright, let's uh let's get the let's get the pieces in. Um uh, let me just um, um sorry, I'm just uh sorry oops, that's not it. Um Let me just put the the guys at the back for a minute. Um, okay, let's just grab their pieces. All right. Um, Olmec, lower your gate, please. Okay, Crash, let's get into position. Let's get, let's put three minutes or the song, get the song ready. On your mark, get set, go. Um. Now where's he going? He's up, he's up into the crypt. Oh, sorry, something's up, right? Oops. Oops, uh, oops, I, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to put the, um, sorry, um, 
Whoops. Uh, let me try that again. Um, and uh, let me put... Sorry, fellas. I, I forgot to layer the positions. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put Sonic over here. Um, let's try this one more time. Sorry. Sorry about that, fellas. Okay. Um, on your mark, get set, go. All right, he's up into the crypt. Let go. Get out of here. Okay, this one opens. This one opens. That's how. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't. Now yeah, he's into the he's into the pit of the pendulum, and knock down the column. And it falls down. So where does he go? Uh, perhaps to the tomb of the headless kings. Wait, now all you gotta do is put the skull in the right position. Is it um, is it over here? Nope, that doesn't work. How about this one? I'm alive. Yep, that opens. Oh look, there's a little something over here. But we'll come back for that later. All right, into the chamber of the sacred markers. So all you gotta do is put the symbols on the match the symbols. Let's see, um, there's a bug here, there's a bug here, and there's the, uh, alright, that matches, let's, um, uh-oh, temple guard, looks like you have to give up a pendant of life, but he can move on, now into the king's storeroom, so you'll, what do you do, shall we smash the pots, um, let's see, nope, there's nothing in here, there's nothing in here, no, oh, wait a minute, Sorry, tell us the key. I'm sorry. Um, um, here it is. Here it is. The key's right over there. It's got no more pen. So, is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. It's uh. Okay, we're moving down to the room of the ancient warriors. So, um, where does he place himself? Um, nope. That doesn't work. Nope. Oh, that doesn't work. Um, is that one open? Oh no! He's captured by a temple guard! Alright, Sonic! Um, yeah, it's your turn now. Let's see, where can you... Alright, um... Alright, let's see. Now, there's a, there's a, there's a third pendant over here. You got, you got all three, you got the two pendants right here, so let's... Let's go to the... Now here we are in the Shrine of the Silver Monkey! Let's assemble it! Alright, that's one piece there, and voila! Now, where's he going now? Um, into the Dark Forest! Now let's see if we can put, find the key in the in the Dark Forest. Come here! Well, it looks like Sonic's out of pendants! Looks like that's to get... He's in the Quick Sandbar now! He's got the, he's got the thing, he's got the thing! Oh, but it's too late, he ran out of time! Oh no, but at least he managed to snatch onto the thumb spike. So he managed, so he managed to get the, they managed to get the, uh, what was it again? The, the expandable phone and the magic gaming carpet. So at least that's something. So, um, yeah, fellas, that's about it. Um, see, we'll see you all next time. Him for another Black Rider of oh, Black Rider Rangers of uh, Favorite Things. Sorry he caught up in the things. Oh, so sorry about that, but don't worry. We'll see you all next time for in the next time, let's see we go on, on a swashbuckling adventure in Black Rider Rangers next live stream. Bye bye! Reenactments of Legends of the Hidden Temple was recorded in a live stream on YouTube by Black Rhino Ranger.
from Selangor, Malaysia.